Um, there's some news about Alabama and Michigan ahead of their matchup in the, the Rose Bowl. First of all, I can't wait for that Rose Bowl. That Rose Bowl is going to be amazing. And then we get this amazing nugget of news that former Michigan linebacker coach, uh, I think it's George Hilo, um, was hired by Alabama. And it's just like, and he will begin work, quote, immediately. And I'm just like, that's unbelievable. Alabama plays Michigan in, well, yeah, I mean, what is this? Less than three weeks, like two and a half weeks. It's it's around the corner. And he's reportedly being hired as, as an analyst for the for the time being. Alabama will have an opening at outside linebackers coach next season as their coach is, is leaving. He's going to be the new defensive coordinator at Mississippi State. But here's this thing. And, and by the way, if I'm Alabama and Nick Saban, this is absolutely what I'm doing. Of course, you think that, like, I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but this is a lot better than having some grainy cell phone footage from across the field. Like, you get a coach that was in their building. It's like, tell me everything about what they do. <laughs> You're our employee now. Like, oh, my gosh. Uh, Nick Saban continues to be the best. And he leaves no stone unturned. And by the way, this is why players love to go play for him. Because he doesn't leave a stone unturned. He is constantly thinking of ways to gain an advantage and continue to, as he likes to put it, provide value. Not only to his players, but to his program. That's his job, and he does it better than anybody. So I'm not begrudging Nick Saban what he does here. This is brilliant. I would do it. I would do it. He's got the resources to do it, and now he's able to do it. And here's a former Michigan linebacker coach sitting in meetings talking about what? Everything Michigan does, how their defense is built, what's their philosophy. Philosophically, what do they like to do on offense? What are these coaches like? Do they have tendencies? What were those tendencies when they brought up ways to break those tendencies? How did they talk about that? I mean, this is a, a brilliant hire, <laughs> and it's so... Beautiful. And by the way, we just, you know, we read this and it's like, oh, yeah. But you talk about grainy cell phone footage from across the field and people lose their mind because of a 1994 rule, you know, NCAA rule about advanced scouting. And by the way, I've said this plenty of times. Michigan broke a rule and should be and will be punished. This is not against the rule. This is not against the rule. So, I'm not begrudging anybody this. I'm just saying, like, isn't this obviously just as much in, of an advantage? Potentially. Potentially. Uh, thank you for watching the Joel Class Show YouTube channel. And if you like this clip, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And you can stay up to date on all of my college football coverage.